the doctor's office. Not inside, of course. But I'm going to get a referral for a hearing test, which I was told four or five years ago that I was right on the edge of needing <laughs> a hearing aid. Okay, well, I am going to tell you that I definitely have crossed over that line, that edge, and I definitely need a hearing aid. I mean, y'all, you two people can be sitting next to each other and talking smack about me. <laughs> I wouldn't even know it. I would not have a clue that they were talking shit about me. Now, that's how bad it is. And it's so embarrassing to always say, huh, what'd you say? Excuse me, pardon me, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. So a lot of times what happens is, not just with myself, but I know other people too that I have talked to and what I've read is that because of that embarrassment and being uncomfortable, then people just are out of the loop. And some, some people even go so far as to just nod or agree or whatever. And um, because they can't hear, they're not part of the conversation. They're just getting snatches. And it's funny, you think you turn the volume way up and that helps it doesn't because like on a television or a radio or whatever all the music and all the background noise goes up along with the conversation and so you never get to hear now the headphones that i have that i can plug into the television those things are the bomb y'all i kid you not you just put those headphones on and you can hear every single thing that's being said. So I know it's possible to be able to hear. And I use my earphones when I'm watching a movie. I have to use them at Mary Jo's all the time because she cannot stand to hear any part of a video or, or anything. So. I have to have my earphones uh, all the time and my headphones. Um, so that's why I'm going to see this doctor. And also I've been really dizzy lately. <laughs> Not to be confused with ditzy, okay? I am ditzy, I know that. My ex-husband used to say, are you sure you're not blonde? But I'm very ditzy, I'm very scatterbrained very ADD, but this dizziness is kind of weird. So I'm gonna bring it up. They won't know what it is and whatever, but I'll bring it up so it's in the record that if I fall out somewhere, it's not gonna be like a big shock to everybody. I hate going to the doctor. I really appreciate being able to. Now, I don't know President Trump, what he's doing with Obamacare. I don't have Obamacare. But I do know a lot of people that I've talked to about it. My uh, girlfriend, Mary Jo, her daughter, Emma, and her husband, their insurance premiums went up when Obamacare went into effect $450 a month. $450 a month. I mean, come on, you guys. Who can afford that? It's ridiculous. I told her they could get a divorce and she could get on the same kind of health care I've got, single parent with two children. But isn't that just stupid to have to do that? I mean, as human beings, aren't we entitled to some kind of health care? I think so. I tell you my personal opinion. I don't know exactly what socialized medicine is, but I think in Canada, it's like every human being has health care. Well, 
I got to shut this off for right now, y'all, because I'm going through the drive through of Taco Bell. And it's very rude to be on the phone or making a video when you're going through a drive through So I'll see y'all later. Bye.